Well, big news, and, and I mean that. Listen up, because this is uh, useful information if you love our beautiful state. The Mighty Five here in Utah will be mighty popular again this year. Arches National Park, right there at the top of the list every year to visit. But if Moab is beckoning the Red Rock, uh, you better plan ahead. And we mean really plan ahead. Plenty of time to spare. Months ahead of time. Here's why. Today, beginning at 8 a.m., so a little over an hour from now, Arches National Park will open up a timed reservation system. It's a pilot program, and here are some of the details you have to know before you start planning your trip. This pilot program is meant to inform the powers that be this year with data that will help them decide if they want to do it every year, a timed entry every year to control the crowds uh, into the future. So here's how it's going to work starting today. Sign up at recreation.gov. Create an account if you haven't done so already. I mean, if you've bought, you know, national park passes or camping uh, tickets and reservations, you might have one already, one of those accounts. Tickets open for the park in April. So does that make sense? Right now, today, they go on sale for April, and they're doing it one month at a time. Now, when I say on sale, this is to reserve that time slot. It's two bucks. It's a processing fee. To visit Arches any time between April and October this year, though, you will have to have one of those time slots, one of those reservations. This is new. Three months in advance, a new group of time slots will go up for grabs online only. So consider for now in January, it's April. Next month in February, it'll be for May. I think that's right. <laughs> You'll have to go print out or get a screenshot of your reservation time slot or you will not be allowed in the park. Now, are you completely out of luck if you miss your chance with the reservations online? Not necessarily. The day before, 6 o'clock in the evening, the night before you'd like to go maybe, they will release a number of tickets online. We don't know what that number will be, but they will likely go in under a minute. If you've done that through Zion, kind of those timed entries, you you know it's tough, so they go like that. In 2022, though, the best option, plan at least three months ahead if you are planning a trip down to Moab. Well, Again, I'm just the bearer of the iffy bad news. Well, if we've learned anything over the pandemic, it's that plans change frequently, too. So yeah. who knows and parks, how it's going to pan out this year? They are jam-packed lately where they yeah. close them you know, early. So if you want to get in, this is the best way to do it. Get that Good time info. slot. Yeah. Thanks, Dan.